down here at the FTC Wisconsin Championship. Checking in with team number 13, uh, 201 Hazmat. I'm here with Preston and Aramis. We're gonna check out more about this robot here on Behind the Bot. Uh, so looking at a very interesting arm system, some cool sensors as well. And I think we're gonna start out uh, really kind of the, the show piece here, uh, which is the arm. So let's uh, go ahead and check in with Preston. Tell us about this amazing uh, mechanism as it comes through and how it works with the stones. So we've created this arm using a four bar linkage. And uh, this is made to replicate the human arm with the radius and the ulna using the four bar linkage here. Uh, so it raises and lowers at the top, almost like a shoulder. So over here, uh, it pivots up and down. And um, we have a wrist um, system at the end here. And this turns in and out to keep the bot within dimensions. And then we have two fingers, you may call it, uh, ooh, sorry, to uh, grip the block to come down and hold it as we move it up and down. So what made you think of going this route maybe versus a, a different strategy some other teams are uh, employing this year as well? Uh, so this team, uh, basically we have a lot of rookies this year and this was uh, an easy way to help them learn uh, just the beginnings of you know FTC before we get in any, into anything too complicated. So um, it's also easier for us to just make fixes on rather than going through the entire elevator system. So it was a lot simpler but then also um, just very inspired by the human arm. So we thought that was a really cool idea. Yeah, I love the creativity as we go through on this and looking uh, onto some more things uh, sensors on this robot uh, and some different ways that you're uh, uh, doing autonomous as well. Can you run us through uh, some of the other cool features on the spot? So we in autonomous we have missions such as parking which we use our color sensors on the bottom to do. So these color sensors sense the line and just stop the robot. And also when we're going to the foundation which is where we put the blocks on we have these touch sensors to stop it when it hits it. We also have the camera which is also its sensor on its own with its you know camera. And it, we use this to sense the sky stone. It's the black the unique one there and it no, and that one, it points to where the thing should grab it. And so these three sensors work really well, and our autonomous works about 90%, 80% of the time. And you guys were telling me as you're uh, progressing uh, through here at the event, you guys are 2-0 and so far. Uh, what do you think uh, leads to your success here? And what do you see amongst other teams that you think is like, hey, this might be something I want to try in the future as well? Well, so we're all rookies, so we're pretty, this is pretty new to us. So we're all really hyped up, and we're really excited and confident in ourselves. We're, we're new to this. We want to show gracious professionalism. We want to really get out there and be energetic. So I think our really spirit is driving us to do really well out there. And what we've seen with other teams is, like, they're also really energetic. And we also have two other sister teams that we created this year, and we're working really well with them and collaborating. Well, love the enthusiasm and love the creativity and love this bot here, 13201 Hazmat, once again, here at the Wisconsin FTC Championship. Thanks and good luck during the rest of this competition season. Hopefully, we see you guys at the World Championship as well. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.